Hey there YouTube, Scott from Hoarders Hide, back today with some original art for you. Uh, had some packages show up in the mail, kind of. One was unexpected, one came rolled in this tube. Um, and it was kind of, kind of scary because it said, if I can focus in on it, received unsealed. Yep, there's no cap in the end of it. There's no cap in that end. So, um, and by the looks of it, I would say it arrived at my post office unsealed, not somewhere in transit. So, uh, fortunately, the item was in there. I will show you that last. Uh, the next thing that came at the same time as the second thing I, I found um, was this wax sealed envelope. Uh, it was obviously shoved in a different envelope. You might be able to tell, you may or may not know, Ben Templesmith um, in his 78 squid line. Um, wasn't I'm, I mean I knew something was going to be coming sooner or later I just didn't know when and so I was kind of surprised when it showed up uh, I'm on Temple Smith's Patreon uh, I am in the I think it's $180 a month level uh, which on top of all the normal stuff you get one piece of original art from whatever project he is working on that month um, sent to you uh, But he waits and only sends out every two or three or maybe four months. I guess um, I just joined a few months ago and Just started my fourth month. So today uh, Yesterday whenever it was it showed up all four things came in um, So inside of this blue envelope we had his last completed project well published project is Hebrews of the Universe were basically I think kind of his reimagining of multiple characters from within the He-Man universe. He may have added some that weren't there. Obviously everybody knows Skeletor. Um, And this particular one is number 153 of 200. Uh, numbered on the inside and signed by Temple Smith. Um, that also came with two signed prints. Um, a front cover print and a back cover print that also came with stickers and everybody knows I'm not a sticker whore but we've got I whoever the hell that is and Skeletor. No, that's He Man. Maybe. Skeletor. And. Player to be named later. So. Those showed up. And that was all. That was what was in the envelope. So, and that's something that everybody, probably from the $40 level or $50 level, and up yet maybe it's 20 well, it's 25 dollar level whatever it may be um but then also included was my artwork um and the first piece of artwork let me find the guy in here I know he's in here. Um, there he, there he is. The 
first piece of artwork. is a character called Spikor. Um, again, I'm not really a huge He-Man fan, so I don't know if this was a character from the original series or from one of the later published comic books or, or what. So, all you He-Man fans let me know down in the comments um, and the so spike or was one of my monthly recent works uh, and you see here it is published inside so but it's a everyone has a reproduction of the actual drawing and then the must be digitally enhanced version it's kind of neat kind of different way to do it within a book so there's there's spike or uh, next um, is actually his most recent uh, not published I don't know if it's something he will publish um, he did, you know, a lot of artists do Inktober where they challenge themselves to do a drawing a, a month of some, or drawing a day, excuse me. Um, so Temple Smith for October did what he called Dinotober, and he drew a dinosaur a day. Uh, and the dinosaur that he sent to me was... Well, whatever. Corythorus? Whatever. Um, so, I used to be a dinosaur fanatic, but uh, this is definitely not one I was familiar with. So, this was the most recent. He just finished these... Um, and you know put them up for sale on his website there's still quite a few of them available um again i don't know if these are going to be published or not so the next piece is from Oh, it is from, it's from his series, Squid Spit, and this is from issue number one, page number three, from, from Squid Spit. Uh, you may or may not know, he did the, uh, the Squitter series, um, kind of a, a a squid based universe if you will um, and then squid spit was the next uh, project after that again this is issue one page three from squid spit So the fourth and final piece of artwork that was in this little care package is a page from um, Batman and Superman the Authority. So this is from issue one, page 15. I haven't read this one, so I really don't know what's going on.
but I just I don't know why I'm so drawn to the painted artwork style that he does on almost everything he works on so that was it from Templesmith and he sent me a little note uh, with a little remark there down at the bottom um, telling me what was in what was in it so his uh, his new series he's working on looks really interesting it's something he's working on I believe with his wife um, but she's writing and he's illustrating um, and you know being on the patreon we see page updates every day uh, this some, some pretty pretty cool stuff it's kind of a, a Viking looking theme to it um, so I'm actually kind of interested to see that one come out um, actually looks like there's a little bit of humor in that one as well but all his stuff is still for sale not all but there's a lot of the stuff still for sale up on his website um, next the piece that came rolled up in that tube which I already pressed um, and a lot of you probably won't recognize the name um, but you should look into him uh, he was an interesting guy it's a piece of artwork by Martin Grime and he was um, uh, he was a pretty famous uh, Captain Marvel collector and he started uh, a fanzine called the Comic Crusader uh, late 60s early 70s and then Sometime in probably the early 80s, I think, he created a character called Thunder Bunny um, that actually was published. Um, a couple different publishers ran some issues of it. Uh, he had lots of uh, artists you you know you definitely recognize do work for him in his Comic Crusader you know fanzine. Uh, so that's you should definitely check those out if you get a chance uh, The piece I got from him I stumbled across it While I was looking for Spectre And as you can see Spectre is In this up here with Starman Or is it Starman? I'm not sure But we've got Dr. Fate Starman and Spectre, uh, Johnny Thunder, and Thunderbolt, the Sandman, uh, Dr. Fate again, and then down here at the bottom we've kind of got a full Justice Society. Uh, over here we got the Roll Call. So this has uh, the, the Adam in it, Dr. Midnight, and Hawkman, who are not in any of the above. So this is something he probably, I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't have any of his fanzines. Um, I may start looking for them, though. But this was probably drawn in the 60s or 70s. And it could have been published in in his fanzine. Then here's his signature down there underneath the roll call. But this is this you know pretty neat. It's all I was concerned about was it had Spectre in it, but it's actually a nice, interesting piece of in a comic book history, uh, obscure comic book history, but history nonetheless. 
now back out here and show you. This is definitely an odd size piece. But it looks a lot better now that it's flat after I brought it out of the press. And well, you know, one nice thing about the Temple Smith artwork, I mean, it might be a little expensive. It's easy to store because almost all of it's, you know, kind of an eight and a half by eleven size. So here's our Batman, Superman. Our squid spit. Our dino tober. And our Hebrews. Um, I do have. I've got two more things, though. I'll, I'll just tease you with because I'm not allowed to show you. I got that and I got that. Hopefully in a month or so I'll be able to show you but it may not be till February but as soon as I'm able to show those two off I definitely will be and that's it. Um, let me know what you think of all this stuff. Um, and what do you think about that price? $180 to get a published piece from the month he's working on, um, plus get whatever his, uh, the published, the final piece, the final product is uh, sent to you. Yeah, I'm still kicking it around in my head. I don't know if I'm going to continue, how much longer I'm going to continue. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about that um, or the video in general. Uh, I'm about 25 subscribers now away from 250. So we're getting really close to giving away the Magdalena statue and having another uh, giveaway. So stay tuned for information on that. Um, and that's it. That's it for now. So until next time, I'm Scott from Hoarder's Hide, and I want to know what's in your hide.